fear for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. We eventually get why Queen will not stop working. The Queen is known for her hard work ethic, despite her age she racks up a staggering number of royal duties every year, here are the three reasons why the Queen won't quit. The Queen may be 95 years old, but she won't be retiring any time soon. Despite a recent unplanned hospital stay, the head of the royal family is still committed to her numerous royal duties. Explores the reasons behind the Queen's can-do attitude. It seems age is merely a number in the Queen's eyes. Last week, Queen Elizabeth II turned down an award for Oldie of the Year, saying she did not think she met the relevant criteria. The Riley Palace said, Her Majesty believes you are only as old as you feel and therefore does not think she meets the relevant criteria. Just 24 hours after her overnight stay in hospital over health concerns, the Queen was back to work, conducting light duties. Despite her age the Queen is not prepared to retire, perhaps steely determination is down to her upbringing during the war. The wartime generation often has a profound sense of duty and fortitude instilled in them due to the challenges they faced during the war. David Attenborough, who is just a fortnight younger than the Queen, is another national treasure who shows that once you reach your 90s you don't necessarily have to sit back and retire. Prince Philip only gave up his royal duties at the grand old age of 96 and it seems his wife, the Queen at 96, will surpass her husband when it comes to continuing to work. The Queen stays active by simply refusing to cut back on her regular exercise. In a bid to avoid the frailties of old age, the Queen is often seen riding whenever she can, which is impressive given her age. Queen Elizabeth II also stays active by regularly walking her beloved dogs. She currently has three and is often seen walking them briskly around the grounds at Windsor. The Queen is incredibly talented at what she does and she has held the reins as head of the royal family for 69 years. The royal family has had a tough couple of years with the death of Prince Philip and the exit of senior royals, Prince Andrew and the Sussexes. It seems the Queen is reluctant to step back at such a turbulent time for the firm. The Queen wants to return to work this week after a surprise hospital stay saw her miss a scheduled Northern Ireland trip. The monarch, 95, seems to be bouncing back defying reports that she was knackered after taking on a punishing 19 jobs in as many days. An unnamed royal source said the Queen was keen to continue her official duties this week, reported. Her private office will constantly look at her diary and tweak it as and when is necessary, they added. The report comes hours after a source told, she is knackered. She spent the night in hospital for tests last week after cancelling official duties. But the Queen returned to Windsor Castle in good spirits on Friday after spending a night at the private King Edward VII's hospital in London for preliminary investigations last Wednesday. The monarch was understood to be back at her desk by Friday afternoon, undertaking light duties. Since returning from her summer break at Balmoral this month, Her Majesty has been whizzing around the country, undertaking 19 engagements. These included planting a tree at Balmoral, traveling 100 miles to Edinburgh, meeting members of the Canadian Army and speaking with the Japanese and EU ambassadors. Royal sources said the monarch's private schedule has also been packed with a constant flow of lunches and dinners with family and friends, because the Queen does not want to dine alone. A courtier reportedly admitted, it has been too much. The report also said Palace Sades might discreetly keep an eye on Her Majesty's late TV viewing habits as she is reportedly a devoted fan of drama line of duty. Last month, she stayed up till after 11 p.m. to watch British tennis sensation Emma Rajakanyu win the U.S. Open. Royal historian Hugo Vickers said, The problem is that the Queen does not want to disappoint people. She can say no to people, but by and large, she doesn't. What you've got to do is pace her. The Queen underwent hospital tests after she cancelled a scheduled trip to mark 100 years since the creation of Northern Ireland. 